All right, so acid farming with polluted water. So step one, how do you know an area has polluted water? To know that, you see how the backpack has 13 on it? This is a pollution area. So everywhere where your backpack has a number on it, that means the water that you'll get from the ground will be polluted. So there's step one. Step two, you need water, water pumps. As you can see here, I set up six water pumps. And these are just automatically pumping out polluted water. And then the other thing with this is these things need a lot of power. So you can see these all need 10 watts. Another thing you're going to want to set up is the deviated, uh, deviated energy generators. As you can see, I have four over there. They're all connected, right? And then from there, for each two water pump, I'm sticking, I'm sticking them or connecting them to the osmosis water filter. So each of these has two going to it, right? And then these are pumping into the polluted, you know, polluted water gets inputted and outputted comes impure acid. So you pick this stuff up, I'm gonna withdraw that. Then you need fermentation barrel. And then from here, you stick the impure acid in, right? Stick it all in there. Let me do some more. You can really see, you can just pile it all up. And then with purified water and impure acid, over time, it's going to make acid. So every 20 minutes, it'll pop one out. So these you're probably going to want to spam and make a bunch of these fermentation barrels, right? And the other thing is you have to connect the water source to the barrels, which you'll see here. See this pipe over here? It's going to these things. And those are connected to these. And that's the bare bones basics of getting a acid farm going with polluted water and water pipes and all that. Again, you can scale this up higher. I still have more room for another two energy things, so you can put more. But do the math, calculate it out, put a bunch of barrels, and you can start pumping these out every 20 minutes.